Welcome to the Survival Gearless video series. Today I'm going to look at two different survival type stoves. This one is, runs off of denatured alcohol that you can buy at Home Depot or any hardware store. Um, it's made in China. Here's the box for it. It was about $20 on Amazon. It comes in a really nice carrying case and it's actually pretty well made. So basically this is the top for it that you can screw on. It has a gasket inside in case you do have denatured alcohol in there. Um, you have little vents at the very top of this item. It's just aluminum. Um, and it sits inside here, just like that. And then you can light the denatured alcohol and put your pot on top. Okay, it's pretty simple. So it's just a normal camping uh, uh, coffee pot type of thing. Okay. So we're going to see how long it takes to boil water off of that. And then this one is made by Ohu. I'm not going to pronounce that. Ohu. Um, very nice stainless steel materials. Also comes in a little bag here. Um, and this one runs off of just sort of wood shavings and some paper and whatever you can sort of scrounge during an emergency situation or camping. And then, this how this goes together there's a couple different parts so you have the inner side and this fits on here it gives you very good airflow uh, through the whole thing okay and then this sits inside here that, that drops down in there and then we'll be putting our wood and what have you da right down inside there and then this is the, the crowning piece and the reason why I bought this one is there's several of these on the market on Amazon, but this has uh, fold out uh, pot hold, um, holders that allows you to get a little bit bigger pot. So again, here's the coffee pot that's gonna go on here. And it goes like that. So once I light the fire and get it going, the air will be pulled in through here, up, and then we'll see how long it takes to boil a cup of coffee, uh, boil a cup of water. Um, so we're going to compare the times between the rocket stove and the denatured alcohol stove. So we'll set these up on the patio and see how long it takes. Okay, we have steam coming out and the flame is still going good. And it smells like coffee. And you can see we're getting condensation, so it's going to be pretty soon. And we are, uh, let's see if you can see that, how far we've come. So it's been about 18 minutes so far. Oh, I think I just saw a perk. There, we have percolation at 18 minutes. Okay, I just saw the first perk. There it goes. And basically you're shoving wood in this thing all the time. And we are at about seven, seven and a half minutes. All right, so we're done uh, seeing how quickly we could boil about six and a half cups of coffee to get start that percolating. So the denatured alcohol stove uh, is from all locks and maybe it'd be better if you read it right there okay this is uh, from Amazon about 20 bucks really showing no signs of wear there's you know a couple little heat marks on the aluminum but that's about it so that took 18 minutes to boil uh, the water so then we went to this rocket stove and the brand name is Ohuhu and uh, basically I had to keep shoving wood into this thing the entire time. Um, it was about seven, seven and a half minutes to start the first percolation of the coffee pot. I was surprised at how smoky it was. My neighbor ended up shutting his door. I heard him close the sliding glass door. Um, and 
basically you sit there and shove stuff into it. I was, again, surprised at how sooty it was. I always heard that Rocket stoves burned really hot and really clean. And the wood that I bought was just, you know, stuff from Walmart that you pick up for camping. So it's probably just pine or something like that. Um, but my hands, just from touching this stuff, is it's sticky. Oh, it's still a little warm. Um, it's sticky and sooty. So, which one's better? Well, uh, this one, you're going to, the Ohuhu Rocket Stove, is going to allow you to sit there and boil water when there's nothing around. You can just pick up leaves and twigs and everything else. But as far as it not smelling and not uh, having everyone know what you're up to and see where the smoke's coming from, that's not going to do it. This one was silent. Um, you could smell a little bit of the alcohol burning, but it does take a long time and are you going to really go backpacking with a um, with a uh, quart or two of denatured alcohol? Well, I guess you could. You could throw it in a plastic bottle and take it with you that way. So um, they both have their benefits. Um, if you don't have much time and you don't have much fuel, obviously this is going to be the better one for you, but be prepared to sit there and clean your pots afterwards. And this one uh, will just go along and be nice and quiet. And you probably could just put your alcohol in a few plastic bottles and go backpack camping. So that's a quick review of the Olox Denature Alcohol Stove and the Ohuhu Rocket Stove. And I'll put links down at the bottom if you want to check them out on Amazon.